Hello and thank you for joining us for Pi's YouTube channel. Um, today we'll be talking about tile roofing. Tile roofing was one of the first roof types. It was developed in 700 BC. Tile roofs have a life from 50 to 200 years and beyond. There's several types of tile roof materials in which they've made. Clay tile, concrete tile, asbestos tile. <clears throat> Beyond that, there's characteristics within the tile, particularly in this case, concrete tile. We have a lug tile and a non-lugged tile. You can see on the lug tile, there's actually a concrete lug on the top from which this tile will hang from a batten. A non-lug tile would be installed more like a shingle where it's laid in place right on the surface of the roof um, under layman. Uh, concrete and clay tiles are both installed on a batten and counter batten system. Basically this allows water flow uh, below the battens. There's many ways to install tile. Tile can be installed with nails, wire, hooks, uh, mortar, adhesive. It also can be installed with no securement whatsoever on certain roof types. Uh, typically a heavier tile on a lower slope roof. You'd be allowed to just float the tiles in place. One helpful hint is when walking on tile roofs, particularly lightweight concrete tile roofing, You'll want to stay on the bottom three inches of the tile. That's where the headlap is. In this photo, you get a pretty good indication of that three inch headlap where a tile had been stepped on in an unsupported section. And um, this would be the proper way to walk on this roof, is remaining on that bottom. As far as codes go, um, Tiles must be secured to a solidly sheathed deck. This is more common in the United States, you know, because it's code. Um, slope must be greater than two and a half inches and twelve for a tile roof. Between two and a half and four inches and twelve, you would re require a double underlayment. Self-adhering membrane uh, is required at the eaves in some areas. That would be a local jurisdiction, uh, county, or city code where you would find that if that's required. Flashings may only be reused if no rust is present. Also the commentary to the code mentions that if you're replacing more than 25% of the roof, the whole roof must be brought up to code. So if more than 25% is being replaced, you need to start looking at if the roof is to code and if it needs to be brought up to code. Now this 25% will vary um, among localities like counties and uh, cities and I've seen it anywhere from 10% to 50% where you're required to bring it up to code. If you would like further information on concrete and clay roof tile installation, uh, you can check out the concrete and clay roof tile installation manual for moderate climate regions or the National Roof Contractors Association Roofing and Waterproofing Manual.